Hey folks, uh, I wanted to see if I could help you out. Uh, I, I figured out how to solve a problem with my computer. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and start the Game of Thrones soundtrack so you can hear what's going on in the background. Let me go ahead and cut that down a smidgen so that you can hear me. Um, one of the things that annoyed me while I was watching my, my favorite show, Game of Thrones, is I have these cheap uh, uh, PC speakers with a subwoofer. Uh, they're not even as good as any of these. They probably look like this guy right something like this um, and they're really inexpensive and they're old and uh, and so the problem is is that when when I'm watching Game of Thrones uh, there's a lot of bass and the bass was just getting really distorted and also the the dialogue was a little bit muddy and I figured out a few things that could improve that so we'll just now right now you're not going to hear the distortion I don't think um, but just wanted to give you a sense of this is a good way to test by going through the theme uh, part of the show. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that and uh, let's go ahead and let's see what kind of adjustments we could make to fix this um, so that the, the subwoofer and the bass sounds good uh, even at the bassiest parts of Game of Thrones. And this will be true for the theme and all throughout the show. Uh, one of the annoying things is, is if you have to turn up the volume so you can hear the dialogue, then the bass gets really distorted in the subwoofer. So, uh, my computer is an older laptop, it's a Dell, and, uh, and a Dell has with it, um, it has this thing called premium sound. Let me see if I can show you how I find this. So, uh, what I did, again, I had to play around, and I might just play around a bit now, uh, uh, j just so you can see how to struggle to find this. Um, I go down to the little audio, uh, the speaker icon down in the taskbar, and I right mouse click, and it gives me several options options and I'm gonna go ahead and choose playback devices and when I do a window comes up and when the window comes up it's it shows several different speaker options now right now I'm talking to you using a USB headset so naturally that's on um, but it looks like this is the guy that I'm concerned about the real tech high definition audio and by the way I had a problem earlier uh, even yeah like that was disabled and what I figured out is, is if you do a left mouse click on on the speaker icon and you go over here to this arrow it gives you several options and I had to choose the real tech high def in order to even see it uh, in that other in that other window so let me get back to that other window so right mouse click playback devices I get the sound window and under playback one of the options is speakers real tech high def audio um, now, uh, again, there's so many options, it's overwhelming. Configure just isn't what we're looking for. We're really looking for, and again, you have to click on the speakers for Realtek High Def Audio. We're going to click on Properties. And when we do, we get all these options. And again, the number of options is a bit overwhelming. But the, the one that I found that really makes the, the difference for me is this SRS tab. Now, it may not be an issue for you because maybe you never even enabled this thing. You know, maybe it was off for you. And if that's the case, you can turn this video off now. But for me, I had enabled it. And uh, and it when I when I came I discovered that it was accidentally set to music. Well, that setting definitely was no good. Um, so I I tried changing it to movie. And then the other thing that I discovered, I'll go ahead and reset my settings, is that when I set it for movie, um, the true bass level's up to 70% and the dialogue clarity level was down to 10. And to me, that just seemed wrong. And, and I was able to make that. Let me go ahead and see if I can play this and see if you can hear the difference. I don't know if you'll be able to notice, but I'm going to go ahead and go back a few. We'll go back here, and I'm going to go ahead and change the true bass level down from 70% down to something lower. Now, for you and me right now, I'm not hearing a huge difference, but I can tell you it made a big difference. It made it so now I have no distortion on my subwoofer at all. The other thing I tried is let's raise the dialogue clarity level. And again, for you and me right now, I'm not hearing a huge difference, but this made a big difference in, uh, in what the sound sounds like through the system. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that again. And uh, I'm hopeful that if you make this change, if you already have SRS enabled and uh, it's set to music, change it to movie. And if you're getting distortion on the bass from the subwoofer or, or in general, just lower that true bass level.
Um, the other thing is, is my subwoofer is and my speakers are rather small, so I'm going to change them down to the lowest setting, which would be a medium-sized speaker, um, and I don't know how much that helps. But this is now my new setting that I'm going to use for watching Game of Thrones. And uh, that's mostly what I wanted to share with you. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And uh, I think that's about it. Uh, again, I did have some problems with my device manager. Uh, which you can get to. One of the easy ways to do that these days is just to go into your Windows 10 uh, search box and type device. Uh, and for me, I have a couple different things called device manager, but this is the control panel one. And when I go to do it, let's go ahead and get rid of the one here. When I bring it up, uh, there's a section for sound. And I had a problem where there was no Realtek high def audio in there. And so, therefore, I, I wasn't seeing any options to change it. And that's when I went back over here to the taskbar and and selected Realtek High Deck Def Audio and then I was able to go in there and and do this other stuff that I showed you the right mouse click playback devices and now I've got my speaker Realtek uh, High Def Audio and I could then change the properties so again hopefully this will help you guys out especially if you're having a problem with too much bass and distortion or if you're just not getting clear enough dialogue all right good luck folks